Joby, a person who makes the gorilla pod. Someone you've probably seen with Casey Neistat, if you know who that is. Uh, Joby actually put out a condenser microphone, which is called the Wavo Pod. And this microphone is geared towards podcasting. They actually sell this as a set to where you can actually get some attachments that go on it and basically connect it to your phone and do a podcast with just the microphone. But I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about, is it a good microphone? Does it sound good? And should you buy into the marketing of that you need this for a podcasting mic or can it live in your setup so we're going to do a sound test review we're going to do a quick unboxing and see what you think of the wavo pod mic after a word from our sponsor this video is brought to you by lightstream lightstream is a cloud-based streaming service where you can stream directly from your console to lightstream and then they will re-encode your stream with professional overlays things like stream elements rainmaker.gg a whole bunch of things like videos and graphics you can put onto your stream and never have to use a streaming pc to do these things right now you can get 25 percent off your first three months by using my coupon code darkened cyrus so make sure you go ahead and visit the link in the description to go ahead and order this and thank you to Lightstream for sponsoring this video. Your pure transparency, this is actually the second time we've recorded this video because the first time had scuffed audio and here's a sample of that so you can hear it. I have covered a bunch of microphones on this channel and today we're going to be covering another one. This so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this one so that you can see what's inside and we'll do the sound samples. They're actually ones I recorded in the previous video, but they still are the same. So hopefully you can get something out of that. All right, so we're gonna to go to this overhead right here and we're gonna go ahead and unbox. Really nice situation here. They've done a great job branding it with their colors, but the question is, does it sound good? Seeing as I've already recorded it, I know the answer, but let's just go ahead and wait for that. Uh, it comes with a manual. Um, really cool piece about this. They give you two USB cables as well as a few other um, kind of opportunities for you to use this microphone. It's really nice. Um, let's go ahead and get some foam out of here and pull the microphone out with all of the stuff inside. I think that was it. Box out of the way, all this out of the way, and we'll show you everything that we just got. So what we've got right here is the Joby. This is the Wavo Pod microphone. So we can go ahead and see right here on the top, we do have a push button. This is a push to mute, as well as a volume dial and a headphone dial so that you can adjust the volume of the uh, headphones that you plug in. You do have two different polar patterns and to kind of explain this when it comes to polar patterns, uh, this microphone has something called a cardioid polar pattern, which means that when you talk into the front of it, uh, it rejects the sound behind it and allows you to pick up just the stuff that you really want, especially if you're just a, you know, using it for a solo mic. But let's say you have people all around the table, you can press the button that is right here. You can press this button and it'll change the polar pattern to omnidirectional. And by going omnidirectional, you can actually have it pick up sound all the way around the microphone. So it's a unique piece. Uh, a lot of microphones that are geared towards this have this. So just a thought, it is on here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the microphone. On the very bottom, we do have a USB-C put right here, input, and then a headphone input right here. And then also it has this attachment right here. This is what you actually connect for a normal uh, kind of like a microphone stand. This is just an adapter that they can, uh, kind of provide you because they have a different thread, not only on this, but it's the same thread. If you remove the base, you can use this like in your setup as a drop down mic because it has the exact same threading there. So you could move this attachment here to the bottom, attach it to something like a mic arm like this. You can have it stick off just like that. Sorry, I just bumped the mic. Anyway, so this microphone has all of this stuff included. Let's go ahead and get everything back where it was. And like I mentioned earlier, it comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable in the box, as you can see right here. And then a USB-C to USB-A cable also included in the box. And then the last piece, let me put this back on this base. The base is nice and heavy. I don't feel like you're gonna have to worry about it kind of moving around. Uh, but we'll hear some sound tests of it. Spoiler, spoiler alert. Um, it's got some handle and noise problems. <laughs> Just saying. All right, but we also have this kind of like wind guard piece right here. 
So you can kind of put it on the front, this little windscreen, and they provide you the screw that screws into the back to attach it. Now, if you buy the kit that they have, which is like their specific podcasting kit, and we'll go ahead and put a picture of it up right here so you can see it. You actually get these two attachments that go on the side. They come with a couple of attachments, things like these that can screw in on the side and then you can attach a phone. Really cool. You can screw this up, whatever the case. No, sorry. You can screw these up and attach like a phone case onto the side so that you can actually just have this as a one situation of recording for podcasts. All right. Uh, that's about that. Let's get into some sound tests of the Joby Wavopod. All right. Um, yeah, so this is the Wavopod. I'm like three feet, not even three feet. I'm like two feet away from this thing on the table. Okay. If you check the overheads, it's literally in the middle of the table. The windscreen, I've taken it off because it's not going to help. I'm nowhere even close to it. Uh, this is 100% volume on this thing. 100% volume in my recorder. I'm recording an uh, Adobe Audition over on the MacBook so you can kind of see what I'm doing. But you can't tell if 100% is too much. So if you're in a, like, how are you going to, this is blown out. Like I've had to turn down the volume. Obviously this is peaking because if I pick this up and I go to my voice, I mean, I mean, that's disgusting. Okay, let me lower the gain on the microphone. I don't know if it's actually going down. Testing one, two, three. I'm just kind of going by the peaks in. I, I don't even know if to tell you if this is like 50% volume. I still feel like I'm peaking. I, I can't I can't tell if it's like 50% volume, like 100% volume, 30% volume, whatever the case. So we're just going to leave it right here and I'm just going to. I mean, this thing's still two feet. So if I, even if I pulled it closer to me, I mean, does this, is this peaking? I don't think it's peaking. So, all right, I've got it about a foot away from me on the table. I know where it would be. I mean, I'm like, if I had it on a tripod up here, I would blow it out, obviously. So I'm going to have it down here and let's just go ahead and do some sound tests. I still feel like it's a little loud. So um, I'm going to get my editor. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit more. Oh, the mute button works, by the way. It turns red. Uh, I'll turn this up so the upper camera can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, we'll turn this down just a little bit. All right, let's do a uh, let's do a sound recording. This is a sound test of the Wavo Pod. I'm about a foot and a half away from the sensor. I don't know what volume setting or how much gain I'm giving from the mic to the PC, but in audition, it's recording at 100% volume to make sure that I am having full control, letting the mic do everything on its end. Again, I can't tell what it sounds like just yet. I'm hearing the monitoring from my ears. It sounds clear. It sounds like a condenser microphone would. I do have a lot more room echo and it sounds like there's a lot more noise floor. I'm going to be quiet for just a moment and allow you to hear that noise floor. That's kind of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the microphone and it's right now it's on its cardioid polar pattern. If you don't know what that means, it means that it picks up sound from the front and as it wraps around the microphone, it starts to reject sound. It means it's not picking up sound from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a test of that. Oh, and speaking of that, do you hear like, this is me touching it. Oh, yeah! Any handling noise because it's all plastic. Anything, I'm not even touching like the frame any touching of this mic to, don't touch it while you're recording anyone can hear that oh my god okay all right so here we go i'm gonna go ahead and take it and i'm just gonna turn it this is test 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 testing one two three testing one two three testing one two three testing one two three four testing one testing one i'm coming back around to the sound source and obviously you're gonna hear it's clear once again i'm gonna turn back around to the back so you can hear how it does a rejection of it actually using a cardioid pattern where in the back it's trying to reject that sound uh, and then obviously it's going to have a better sound up front. All right, all that handling noise, I'm sorry. We're going to touch the pattern button. So showing it to camera, right here is the pattern button. Press it once, it goes omnidirectional, which means now it's picking up sound from all over the microphone. So in theory, if I do that same test again, and I twist it, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, testing one, testing one, testing one, two, three, Testing one, two, three, as I go all the way around, it should sound similar. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, testing one, testing one, testing one, testing one. It definitely has, oh my gosh. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Okay, so omnidirectional is interesting because usually there's like two, three capsules that kind of help capture everything. There's one that points forward, back, and the one that's above. 
I just want you to hear this. This is me talking directly into the front of it, so this is one of the capsules. But as I turn it to the top of it, testing one, two, three, there is a much different, to my ears right now, I prefer this sound over this sound. And I don't know if maybe it's just trying to reject some stuff, but even to the back compared to as it goes around, I kind of like the way it sounds. If I was to use this, I might use it omnidirectional and talk into the top just because of the way it sounds in my headset right now. Testing one, two, three. Let me, all right. That's kind of what it is right now. I'm going to pause right here. I'm going to listen to this recording and then get back to you. So what are my final thoughts on the Joby Wavo pod? If you were listening, you heard a lot of handling noise. Things like this plastic body just really amplifies anything you do if you touch it. So, um... Yeah, it's not something that I would say you necessarily need to touch. It's a sit it down, don't touch it, go for it. Something else that I don't like is it doesn't top out in the dial or give any kind of visual of where you are on the gain spectrum. So I don't even know how loud or soft the microphone is. I just have to gauge whether or not it works. And there's not like an auto piece right there. And other than that, the omnidirectional as well as the uh, cardioid is a really nice addition, but you can pick up a microphone like this. This is the Fifine K690. It has a lot of the features that the Blue Yeti has, where you can actually get a bunch of different kind of pickup patterns uh, for a cheaper price, even cheaper than this Joby Wavo pod. And the truth is, uh, I think I would still recommend that over this, um, less handling noise, I think a little bit better of a sound profile, but you don't get a lot of the kind of like pretty pieces here. It's just kind of like a black microphone chill. It still attaches to a tripod, etc. If you like this brand and you want to support this brand, go for Joby. I think it's awesome. But I think that for the cost, you can get a better microphone. And at that same case, uh, something that doesn't have as much handling noise. I think that that's going to be a huge piece if you're doing a podcast and all you have is I need to adjust the volume a little bit and it's right in the middle. Not attractive. If you want to see that video where I actually talk about the K690, you can check it out right here, and I compare it to other microphones in the price range, also from Fifine and others. So, uh, yeah, you should check that video out after this. We'll see you over there.